Thank you for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper. And I'm Venom Stay Dripping. On today's show, we're going to talk all about the tragedy that happened the other day in Pennsylvania. Um, apparently, this one bitch got mad at her baby's daddy and, and murdered her own kid. So they said that they were having an argument that lasted a couple hours via text. And in the text messages, she said that he needs to come get the kids. I guess he had a, a daughter and a son. And um, they said he wasn't really answering back until she fucking started threatening to hurt the kids. And, and at one point, she showed him a video of her son's life, lifeless body. And I just think it's fucked up. I agree. And did you see the actual text messages they had on, on uh, one of the news sites? Uh, but it, it actually showed the text messages from the beginning till the end. And he only responded like three or four times. And the responses weren't very... I mean, concerning. Like, he, he didn't seem concerned. He was just like, okay, okay, I'm not going to respond anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> she was going nuts. And then at the end, she was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this. And, I mean, if you didn't mean to do it, why the fuck did you do it? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, they said that the police were talking to the baby's daddy because he didn't show urgency with the text messages and the videos. And, I mean, if you deal with a lot of craziness... Cause, Cause women can get crazy. If you deal with a lot of that, he probably didn't think she was serious. She probably said this shit all the fucking time. Yeah. Every time he fucking left. Like some motherfuckers are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Every time this nigga left, she was, oh, you cheating on me. You cheat, I'ma kill him. That's what she was doing. And so he didn't know. Right. It's, it's scary. It's, but who the fuck does that? Well, at my, I feel like if it was me at the point of her, cause she sent a video before. Mm -hmm. I think um, didn't she before he was dead? Like yeah, I think well. Like a warning. From what I read, it said that both of their kids was laying down, mm -hmm. and then she grabbed the the daughter's head, and the daughter started crying. Right. And then she grabbed his head. So I don't think she, I don't think she literally showed the boy alive. Okay. I think he was probably, probably dead, you know, the whole time. Right. But see, I feel like that first video, that would have been it. I would have been there, period. Like, but he talking about, like, what What do you think? Like, did you think this was a joke? Like, she told the, the boy not to move or something? Like, how the fuck? He won't. Uh... Like, did he know? Did he care is my thing. Like, did do you know if he cared? Like, I mean, honestly... Like I said, when you deal with crazy shit and crazy people, mm -hmm. he probably stopped looking at his messages. He probably put this shit on silent. You know, he probably didn't pay attention. Yeah. He probably balls deep. I mean, hey, it is what it is, but... <laughs> balls deep. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, uh, it sucks. Yeah. But it's like you deal with stuff so much and you sort of become numb to it. Like, I've had people bother me every time I was at a site. And eventually, you come, become numb to it to where it doesn't affect you emotionally. So if this bitch is always doing this yeah. and talking shit, of course, this guy's like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I totally get that. I mean, you do only put up with so much before you just say, fuck it. Yeah. You know? So I'm pretty sure if he, ca if he cared as a father, he probably didn't even watch those videos or, you know. Well, I mean, I think at one point, I think at one point there was some uh, banter between them where she said, you know, like you mentioned that, you know, he was gone and she was sorry or something. And, he, and she was like something about calling 911. And I think the dad said, well, you need to if he's dead. Right. Yeah, I did see that. And, he and, did say that. And I'm thinking like with the way it sounded, the nonchalant way, I think he was being sarcastic. I don't think until we see this motherfucker... Like, uh, I want to see them talking to him. I want to see how heartfelt he is. Right. But right now, I'm leaning towards not so much if he didn't care about that. I'm leaning towards this motherfucker didn't think it was real. Like, he thought yeah. she was fucking with him. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, because even if he didn't quote unquote care for his kids, I don't think that anybody in their right mind could just look at a dead kid and just be like, well, should have called the cops. Like, you would have fucking done something about that shit. You yeah, know what I mean? he, I don't think he paid attention to it. Right. Because it's probably something that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And he was probably telling us, oh, shit, Christians, 
tripping again. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's sad that it happened. Um, but but when situations like this arise, you know, I want to reiterate that the mental health of people is important. Right. So like if you a dude or a woman is dealing with shit like this, when motherfuckers hitting you up saying crazy shit, you gotta take that shit serious, man. Especially if there's kids involved. You know, if, if your baby's mama, or your, uh, the baby's daddy hitting you up saying he can't take it, you know, you're gonna do something to the kids. At that moment, it ain't a game. Like you straight up take that to whoever you need to take it to, mm -hmm. um, and show them because that ain't right. No, no parent says shit like that. No, I mean, who would bring an innocent child into a situation that has nothing to do with them to begin with? You know what I mean? Like, what did that kid ever do? You know the. It's well, of course it's a fucking kid. This bitch was crazy. I no, I understand that. I understand that. But it takes a different level of crazy yeah. to include children. It just does. Like, you must be completely out of your fucking mind. Well, yeah. But, but the, look at what she was saying. Like, I hope it was worth it. He was all getting... <laughs> he's like, yeah, he died. I hope it was worth it. He's getting your dick sucked. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, weirdo. You fucking Like, yeah, insane. okay, blame the dad whenever you're the one that had to hand in it. Like, he didn't do that shit. Well, some people, some people are like that, though. Some people bumble fuck their life up. Yeah. And they want to blame you for it. You know, I've dealt with that before. That's, so, yeah. But this bitch is insane. Like, and yeah. I hope she get life, uh, you know. I have a feeling she's going to be one of them ones that kills themselves in prison. I well, I mean, do. won't won't people kill her? I mean, if they get to that first, yeah. But I'm saying, with this kind of thing, though, wouldn't you think that she would be in some certain, like, certain area rather than, like, general population? No, no? she a fucking murderer, man. I understand that. Be... I do. But there's different, different things that they, or different sections that they place certain people in, right? Well, yeah, but, I mean, she's going to be in, like, max. She's going right. to be a fucking max, like, when you murder somebody. Yeah. If you do some heartless shit like kill your own kid, you're gonna be a max. She gonna be I mean, I think in Max like like ain't around people a lot, but you still can get fucking shanked. Yeah, I mean and guards kill people too, so you know. <laughs> it could be whatever. Did you just laugh at the fact that you're like, oh, it could be Well whatever. shit, I'ma just be honest, I don't give a fuck what happens to that bitch. I don't yeah, care. It's pretty lame. I mean shit, do you care what happens to this bitch? I don't. Well I mean I care in general about life, but I think that the girl needs some kind of help. She probably she probably one of those people that needed medicine a long time ago and ain't never went to get checked out. Or she could be one of those bitches that just never been told no before. Yeah, probably. I know crazy. plenty of them. Well, hopefully it ain't crazy. Well, like always, I'm going to post a link in the description below so you guys can check out the story. Uh, whether you agree with us or not, comment below and let us know. I'm the Mad Rapper. And I'm Venom Stay Dripping. And we out. I'm the mad rapper, I speak the truth, I let it flow If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show